All right, let's get to my model, guys. I hope you enjoyed that rap song, Text Structure Baby. Let's go ahead and identify the text structure of the title, The Passage French Fries. All right, so I have text structure here that I need to write, and then evidence to identify here in this box. All right, so on a cell phone, that is, take a look. So let's go ahead and dive in, French fries. French fries were not invented in the U.S., but Americans still adore them. The first document, not documented use in the United States was when then-President Thomas Jefferson asked a French chef to make potatoes served in a French manner. A recipe for French fried potatoes has been found in a cookbook from the 1850s. They were referred to as French fried potatoes until the 1930s when Americans dropped the word potatoes and started referring to them as simply French fries. Then they gained, it, gained in popularity with the growth of the fast food chains that took America by storm in the 1950s and 1960s. Today, they are as popular as ever. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what text structure it definitely can't be. It definitely can't be problem solution. There is no problem here and no solution to this. And I know we're not comparing anything to french fries here. No similar similarities or differences. So that leaves me with three. Description, cause and effect, or sequence. So let's take a look at cause and effect. So when I look at cause and effect, I got to think about what happened as a result. Well, I could say, well, because Thomas... Jefferson asked a French chef um, to create a potato served in a French manner. Well, French fries was kind of invented from it. That's what happened as a result, right? But I think the whole text isn't about cause and effect. There's not a cause and effects throughout the whole text. So I don't think it is cause and effect. And let's look at description. Could it be description? Well, what's it about? French fries, right? Um, but for it to be description, it would have to be saying things like, what kind of potatoes did they use to create the French fries? Uh, what are different types of French fries that you can eat, like curly fries, crinkle fries, regular skinny shoelace fries? Um, but it doesn't say that in the text, right? So it's not description. That leaves sequence. So I think it is sequence. And why do I believe it to be sequence? Well, we do have a lot of sequencing words, like first. We also have some dates, 1850s, 1930s, the word until. Uh, let's look some more. Oh, some more dates down here, 1950s, 1960s. Even the word then is a, tr is a sequence transition word that's within the text. And as you can see, those transition words are throughout the whole text. So that makes sense why the text structure for french fries is sequence. And that's what I had for my answer. As you can see, the text structure of french fries is sequence. And the first document is an example of a sequence word first the dates that are given there, the word then, oh, and I forgot that word today is also a sequence word as well. All right, so that's my model. Now it's time for you to work with your 10 a.m. partner on the we do. Your we do slide today is from eruption page 186. And then when you and your partner are done with that, Make sure that you wait Wait until the uh, teacher tells you to move on to your you do slide. What can I do before I move on to that you do slide? Well, you can always do your extension. So work on IXL skill D4.4, okay? And then you can go on to your you do side titled CRS when your substitute teacher tells you today, all right? Um, and make sure that we're doing the right thing and 
I will see you when we're doing our vocabulary. All right, see you soon. Bye.